Hey guys. All right. Now for the past day or two, I have had this idea going around my head about signs from the universe. And I'm not talking about like angel numbers or, you know, things most people would think of as signs. But then I had this revelation in the shower, so now I'm going to have two subjects about differences. So I'll start with the signs from the universe. Now, yes, we do have angel numbers, repeated numbers we see a lot, or just things that remind us of things, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about are things that guide you on your path. And I'll give you an example. I have been living in a place that is very isolated. And it was not my first choice. <laughs> I did not want to come here, but the universe pretty much forced me to by making an epidemic. <laughs> Because I was living in a complete other place, and then, you know, all the shit hit the fan, and I had to come to complete isolation. For the majority of the time, I have been blaming my circumstances, that I'm, you know, unhappy in this place because there's nothing around. All the while knowing in the back of my mind that all of this isolation I could use to create. Because I'm an artist. I'm a very creative person. And the universe pushed me into this because it wanted me to create. But I haven't been. So, back in October, I applied for a few jobs. You know, there's a little town that's about 35 minutes away. They called me, like, last week. So I interviewed, basically had the job as a cake decorator at the grocery store. So I'm thinking, wow, this is great, you know, creative job. That's right down my alley. The way the universe works, didn't get the job that I really would have enjoyed. And at first I'm like, fuck the universe. <laughs> <laughs> You're waving the shit in my face, and then you just take it away. But no, that's a sign. Because I have not been using my creative ability to create things. Sorry, guys, got out of the shower and had to make the video. But because I haven't been using my, my abilities to create, it gave me a nudge. It opened something up that woke me up like yes i would have fun decorating cakes like that's you know creating yes that's right down my alley then it took it away because it's saying no bitch you need to create on your own so it gave me a nudge i don't need that job because what i need to do is start creating on my own to make an income now that's a sign from the universe. Whenever you have this thought or idea or whatever you're trying to do and everything seems to be against it, that's the universe saying that's not your path. But whenever you have, you know, a thought or an idea and you start working towards it and everything aligns, that's your path. Those are signs from the universe. Now, that's not to get it mixed up with challenges. Because we do get challenged. We do need to get over certain hurdles. But, I'll give you another example. When something is not your path. A few years ago... You know, I like to be alone. 
I've had a lot of pizza delivery jobs because I like to drive. You know, I have a lot of time by myself. I don't have to deal with that many people. I just get to drive around and have, you know, two minutes max dealing with customer. So I, you know, was working on getting a CDL, driving, you know, big trucks. At every single turn on that journey, something went wrong. Every turn. Tried applying for grants, tried getting funding or whatever, you know, and then tried doing the schooling. Every single fucking turn, something went wrong. And I just kept trying for a couple months, but it just kept getting delayed. Because the universe was telling me that's not my fucking path. But as soon as I decided, you know, I want to make something artistic, everything opened up. It's like, yes, woo, sky opening up, light, just, you know, fucking, that's my path. But I keep fucking ignoring it. I keep getting these blocks because I'm creating them in my head that, you know, all my shit sucks. Because us artist types, we're our own worst critic. So, I think everything I make sucks. But anyways, you have to pay attention to these things. Now, when it comes to, you know, hurdles, lessons, those are different. It's not the same type of feeling that you've run into a brick wall and you're you know, the universe is trying to stop you, is testing you, you get a different feeling, like this is a test. Trying to think of an example, but it's not coming to mind at this present moment, but I will say, when your mind makes mountains out of molehills, that you're creating bigger problems than it is, that's more of a test than it is the universe saying that's not your path. Because we do have that tendency to make bigger problems than things are. I know I do. Okay, now, I wanna talk about differences. This is a revelation I had in the shower. Everybody has their own perspectives. We have, like, I see all of these tarot readers on, you know, Instagram or YouTube, and most of them, they're all, you know, they're the same. They do the same things. And then I see these spiritual gurus or teachers or whatnot, and they're doing the same things too. But, you know, some of them, they have different views. They have different perspectives. They have little differences in the way they do things. And then you have some people that are like me that want to do things completely differently, but they still have the same type of message. But we live in a world where people who we would consider more awake are getting a complete different message than people who you would consider still blind and asleep. Now, that does not mean their perspective is wrong. Take this for example. In art class, you have the subject in the center. Say it's, you know, just a nude person doing a pose. Each and every single artist in that circle drawing that subject has a different perspective of that subject. But it just does not mean that any different person's perspective of that subject is wrong. They all have their own view of what that subject is. So they draw their view of what that subject is. Now, for the people that are more awake, I'll say, you know, I can see maybe 65% of the subject. I still have blind spots. I cannot see 100% of this nude figure. 
and neither can anybody else. A human being cannot see 100% of anything. We would explode with all that information. So I'm just taking, you know, a number, 65% I can see of the subject. I cannot see 100%. That does not mean that my views are 100% correct. That does not mean that anybody else can only see, you know, a 5% view of that subject is incorrect. They are only seeing it from their perspective. They can only see a small portion of what is the truth. It does not mean anybody is wrong. They're only seeing something from their perspective. Now, when you take this and you apply it to the world view, the way everybody is fighting about every fucking thing that is so fucking annoying. Why does everybody have to fight? Like, we all have our own perspectives. We all see one version of the subject. It does not mean anybody is wrong. We are all seeing our own version. We need to take that into consideration in this fucking world. Yes, I have my own opinions about things. That does not mean that my opinions are the whole truth. That does not mean anybody else's opinion is the whole truth. It is only what they can see. You have to take that into consideration. That people can only see what they see. Yes, maybe they have a better view. But there are trees that are, you know, skewing that view. They could cut those trees down so they had a better view, but maybe they don't want to. Just because people don't fucking agree does not mean anybody's wrong. In the world we live in, there is no one answer to anything. Like, yes, we have science and... When you really think about it, science is fucking changing all the time. So no, there is no one answer to any fucking thing. Anything is possible. So take that into consideration when you have one view and you want to argue with somebody because they have a different view. Neither of you are right, neither of you are wrong. You have your own perspective. You cannot see 100% of the picture. You can only see part. No one can see all. Well, I hope that made somebody think. <laughs> Had to get that out there for whatever reason. Anyways, I love you guys. The universe loves you. Have a good night.